Alright, how's it going everyone? This is Jose Trujillo, once again coming to you from my art studio. And today I want to I wanna show you guys a painting I'm going to be creating, this little painting demo of a really awesome landscape. Alright. Today I'm going to do my painting with my awesome palette knife. So, here we go. So this is going to be kind of like a hillside, okay? Bear with me, guys. <laughs> Don't fear the palette knife. Sometimes, uh, sometimes we artists tend to fear certain, uh, well, not fear, you know, but um, stay away, I guess, you know, <laughs> from uh, certain certain tools. I certainly uh, talked about it before, and I've experienced it. For example, one of my uh, one of the things I. I was very um, aware is that I, I, I like play, playing and painting with a palette knife, but um, I had this idea, sort of this disdain, you know, like, oh, the palette knife. It's not, you know, you're, you're not a real artist if you're... <laughs> this used to happen to me a lot, uh, especially when I, when I uh, was starting out. You know, I had this dead set idea of what it was to be a painter. And painting with a palette knife was certainly not was certainly not one of those you know things that real painters do. Until of course I started visiting more museums and I you know contemporary and then I, I started you know seeing oh wait a minute artists paint with uh, just about anything whatever they have at hand. <laughs> artists seem to you know. The pros seem to not, not really care much, right? <laughs> so, at all, much is not much, but not care at all. So, that's why I, I also try not to care. I think of myself as a pro, and as a pro, you should not care either. Why? Because, I mean, it's, it's just a tool. That's what it comes down to, right? So, and then sometimes I'll do the whole, uh, you know, I'm going to only paint in, in brush again. I fight with it. Bastard. <laughs> I fight with the palette. We have a, we have our little battles where I'll, I'll be like, oh, okay, time to use the palette again. And then, you know, I use it enough and then I'm like, oh, maybe not. Maybe it's time to get back to the brush. And on and on. Back and forth. It just depends what works for you, you know. Don't, don't neglect it. <laughs> Don't neglect the palette. Do not neglect the palette knife. It's got its powers too.
It's also one of the things that I notice when I use the palette knife. Um, I know that that you know I told you this before. You you can't um, you can't stop being you, right? It, it, it comes out even if you even if you don't want to. But the palette knife just gives it a whole other dimension, and I'm not you know. I'm not interested much in just you know painting in a certain in a certain way. I know that a lot of artists are um, the reason why it's because it's comfortable. And I'm talking about myself. I'm not talking about other artists. Um, it's very comfortable to for me to just you know oh I'm just gonna use uh, this palette knife or this size palette knife or this brush. Or, you know all of a sudden um, I start feeling like I'm getting into a comfort zone. And as an artist, I like to, I like to expand. I like to grow and expand. And I notice that if I just, if I just use one instrument, one tool, I become kind of, you know, I become too comfortable, and I start becoming, um, um, what's that word? Too familiar with it, and all of a sudden, I feel more and more familiar. And the spark, I start feeling like I start repeating myself. And the spark starts kind of, that challenge, you know, the challenge starts kind of going away. And see, I don't like that. I don't like, I didn't sign up for that. I like being challenged. I like knowing that, that I did something that, you know, that could be perceived as maybe wrong. You know, like, or oh, I would have never put that color there. Well, you know, I'm glad I did because if I if I would have not, I would have never found out, um, you know, what what surprise was behind door number two. <laughs> that kind of thing, you know. Uh, and, and, and doing different stuff, just painting different subjects, doing different things allows me. I know that, that, that you know, I know maybe you're trying to create a portfolio if you're an artist uh, of certain uh, type of paintings and you want to be known for the the portrait painter or the, you know, certain abstract painter, you know, that kind of thing. Well, that's good, you know, that's your jam. It's cool, you know. But my thing is, is, uh, is challenge myself, you know. Like right now, I'll paint this. And it doesn't mean that I'm all over the place just for the sake of it, you know. It's... It doesn't mean that, oh, you know, I can't maintain a cohesive style in a, you know, it, it doesn't mean that. What it really means is that, that I like to continue to grow and keep myself open and maybe not, not um, just be anchored in one place. I mean, I've done that before. I've worked with also with galleries that... Uh, and exhibits or whatever that you know this is the this is the show or this is what people are kind of knowing you for you got to stick with that right so I've done that and I continue to do that but um, also I, I I go rogue <laughs> and I mean I go rogue like all of a sudden you start seeing me doing like metal sculptures or you know who knows <laughs> but no not not rogue like that um, I go rogue uh, as to like I change the palette or you know, or um, all of a sudden I, I start doing something else with, with the brushes. I start um, just applying a, a, you know, a different method or a different, you know, technique or whatever. And I like that. It keeps, I feel like it keeps me alive. It keeps me growing. It keeps me moving. And I encourage that to you. You know, I'm, I'm, I encourage that for you. If, if, if you want to... Continue to um, expand and grow as an artist. Um, keep things a little, don't keep them so uniform. Yeah. To me, that's very important. I know that. I, I know that um, my, the little boy in me, my little, you know, it, it, the, the, the comfort in me, does, you know, doesn't even want to get off bed, you know, to go paint. Or <laughs> the little boy in me is like, I don't know, just, just, you know, paint paint the same way you painted. You know, you'll be known for that. That's your thing. You know, um, that kind of thing. Like, 
Why, why are you changing it up? Be, uh, be comfortable. And make others feel comfortable so that they remember you. They know, they know the style you paint or whatever. But um, the artist in me, the, 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 the man, not the little boy, is like, I don't know why I start sounding like if I have multiple, I swear, I swear to you guys, I don't have multiple personalities. <laughs> I'm just talking about something very, very, uh, very simple, you know, that we, we kind of, we, we can get torn apart if, if we are not, um, if we're not loose, you know, if we're not, if, if we don't allow for different things. This happens a lot to me, or has happened a lot to me in the past. So every now and then it still shows up and it's like, just just paint this way and stick with that, or, or don't do that, or only stick with landscapes. But I can't, I'm a painter. There's something in me that's like, oh, you painted a landscape, now go paint a dog. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> go do a portrait, or you know, something different, whatever. It's not really the subject matter is what I'm trying to say. I guess I've said so much to get to that. <laughs> it's not the tool that I use. It's not the brush. It's not the, it's not the subject matter. It's, it's the art. It doesn't matter whether I'm painting this, this uh, uh, you know, hillside or pastoral scene. It doesn't matter. It's not about that. It's, it's the artwork. You know, it doesn't matter if I'm doing this or I'm painting the Mona Lisa, it's still, you know, it's still the same thing, it's, it's the art. It's the way in which I'm seeing things. I'm sure that Chuck Close, and I, I mentioned that because he's one of my favorite portrait artists, but um, I'm sure that if he were to do a completely different scene other than his portraits, uh, no matter how much you know he moves anywhere he moves any direction uh it will be chuck close and i'm not talking about the style i'm talking about uh even if he even if he were to change styles as, as he has you know he's matured his style has matured over a period of time and expanded and even if he were to do it it's still chuck close you know we don't see the hyper realistic detailed work it's more pixelated and, and half tone, super awesome stuff that he that he does. It's still Chuck Lowe's, it's still the same guy, it's just it's still the same plant, it's just more mature, it's older. Anyways, I tend to philosophize a lot when I paint. <laughs> it must have been the 90s, you know, the 90s in me affected me. <laughs> I drank too much coffee and hung out with too many poets and philosophers. <laughs> Anyways, I'll leave you guys with that. This is this is a man. This is a hell of a painting. I don't even know if I want to sell this. Um, yeah, I, sometimes I like to keep them. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art painter, and you guys are just pretty much witnessing me. This is this is what's cool about this, you know, about the, the, the this video blogs, this demos. You guys are able to see not just me, but you know, just artists. You know how difficult it was to watch an artist paint <laughs> before YouTube. I just wanted to put it out there. It was very difficult, especially because these guys, you know, they, they, they would keep themselves in the studio and, and uh, it was sort of like a ritual, a ritual, a very private thing, you know, only, only certain people saw them paint. Man, I've seen, I've seen Chuck Close paint, thanks to this, this awesome, I mean, I sound like I'm old, I'm not, I'm not old, but I, I was pretty, uh, I'm one of those artists who was pretty YouTube, so. So it's a blast yeah. to be able to record this and then 
the 50 people that are watching <laughs> or like, uh, like 10 right now i don't know <laughs> thank you so much i hope i hope you guys have a wonderful uh time checking out my artwork it's uh it's always a pleasure to be able to create this artwork for you guys. Let me see if I can move this uh, camera so that you guys can see the painting. Here we go. Check it out. The finished piece. Lovely. I love it. Guys, have a wonderful day, and I'll check you. I'll uh, check in soon. I'll be posting a new painting. Bye bye.